Hello guys, this is Fabio from Logic Pro 10 Tips and today I would like to answer a question I have on my YouTube channel. So a uh, few months ago I did this video how to create a multi-output for East-West Opus in Logic Pro and I had a question from Kondrashov Music. Uh, hi, thanks. Could you also show how to do the same thing with the orchestrator opus in Logic? I can't figure out how to route, route sorry, each instrument to a separate track. So, no problem. You will see, it's very easy. So, as I said, we will do that from scratch. So, first of all, we will have to open a software instrument track. So, I will go there to choose my east-west opus and it's going to be very important to select a multi-output uh, so you have several choices there to choose uh, the best one is to choose nine stereo tracks and i have to say it's a small amount because as you will see in uh, um, orchestrator uh, when you have uh, a score, uh, let's say you have around 15 or 14, maybe sometimes layers. So, so to how to tweak, tweak that, I will show you, of course, in this video too. So I will select multi output. Okay. So here I, I, you can select the bus you want. So I push create. Okay. So now I will go to my orchestrator. Uh, let's say the normal one here. I will double click then to there to open. I will select score and I will take let's, let's say this one. Yes, okay. So here as you can see you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten most 11 I think tracks so if I hit play normally you will see you will hear sorry the sound great so the question is how to have all those parts there in separate tracks here so as I said, the first step is to have your uh, opus in uh, multi-output. So this is the first one. The next step is to choose here for each of those uh, layers a separate output. As you can see there, they are all with uh, opus 1 and 2. So we will change that and let's go so we will keep this one output one and two as you can see we can go further than 17 18 that means what that means that we have three tracks here that if you want them also to have them in your tracks after that you will have to open uh, them in another instance of uh, uh, opus and you will have to follow all the steps I will do now and you will have them so uh, first of all let's focus on those one we have there so now let's say I will play let's say four bars of notes okay so I will hit record Okay, so 
here if I open my mixer by hitting X and of course if I select their the locators here as you can see you have a plus button so I will push the plus button uh, till Till the moment I can do it anymore okay so now you will see that if I push play as you can see I have all those tracks which are working okay so nice now, even if I hit, let's say, solo for this one. Great. So it looks like on this one, I have all my, some kind of uh, short brass. Or even less, I can write. Uh, bassoon. It, it looks like some kind of bassoon, I think. Bassoon. Short. Okay. Let's do the same thing now with this one. Oh, it looks like it's some kind of long brass. Okay, this one. Looks like, this one looks like low brass short. And of course, as I said, if you ha want to have also all those three layers which are missing there, what you have to do is to open another multi-track, select exactly the same, uh, let's say the same here, uh, uh, instance of uh, Opus Orchestrator with Ancient Battles 0168, okay, and you have to mute all those tracks and you have just to have opened all those three with each time a separate uh, um, ex uh, output okay so i will not do that because the, the, the way to do that is always the same so you have just to copy and and, and, and repeat so now okay i have all those tracks there but how to have them here and if i select this one which is called instance one this one is where you have all the outputs all together okay this is where the outputs from uh, um, opus orchestrator is going to here as you can see in the mixer we have the opus one and two here so what that means that means that if i select here just this one in solo i will hear everything okay so but in this case we don't want to have everything so what we will do we will go back there in our mixer we will select the first track here and the last one here and we will during that we will hit shift in order to have them all together highlighted like that okay and now i will 
do a right click and then I will create select create track okay so now I can hidden my mixer and if I hit play once again As you can see now I have all my tracks there but the thing is that all those tracks are some kind of MIDI tracks okay so the, the way I found to 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 have them then in separate uh, audio tracks like a stamps uh, is just to of course select for each of those track a separate bus here on the outputs and then to uh, create audio tracks with all those separate buses as inputs so how to do that first you will have to open your mixer once again up you will have to select all those tracks as you did and then by hitting option you will have just here to choose the, the first bus you want so as you can see here i have bus number one there where i have all everything together i will write all together but the thing is also i I, I've made a mistake because I have also the bassoon on the bus number one. So I will just to change that with hitting Alt and selecting the bus number two. Okay, so now, now I have all together on the bus number one and I have my bassoon short on bus number two, long brass on three. Uh, low brass on four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay, great. So now, what I will do? I will close my mixer. So now I have all those uh, parts there with the bus number one, where I have all together, and bus number two for the bassoon, three, four. Let's say for the others. Okay, so now. Uh, if I select all those solo, normally I will shoot. Here, all together, and this is right, okay. So now, what what I will do is to, of course, uh, open uh, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight audio tracks. So now I will select here eight tracks. Okay. From the first one is the bus number two, bassoon. Okay, create. Right. But here, what I have to change is the output uh, I have to select stereo output stereo output for each of them in order to be able to hear what I want okay so now I know that the bus number two is for the bassoon so let's write it Okay, so now I will hit record. I will select them all. I will on the recording and now I will hit record.
Cool, so now I will disengage record. I will select solo and normally we should hear all separate uh, instruments recorded there. So, as I said before, don't forget that there are those three uh, those three layers there at the end which are missing. Uh, and of course, what you have also to keep in mind is that here in the mixer of uh, Opus you have also the reverbs. So if you want to um, record the signal coming from this reverb you have to follow the same steps because here as you can see what was recorded is without a reverb i will hit play once again and if i select this one So, as you can see, the reverbs are not recorded there. So, if you want to record them, you have to take the signal which is in the output there. And as you can see, it's on the master here. You have the closed mic, uh, master mic. So, uh, in order to have those reverbs, you have to record them. Nothing fancy. So it was Fabio from Magic Pro 10 Tips. See you soon for another one. Ciao.